All right, Scorpio, this is going to be a love reading for the end of May, for the remainder of May. Let's see what messages we have for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So first card out is going to be for Scorpio. Second card will be for the person or the love interest, the one on your mind, or the one who has you on their mind. Scorpio. Let's see what messages we have for you for the end of May. Keep in mind, energy can always be reversed, so flip it, switch it according to your situation. All right, Scorpio. I'll put that one back because I knocked it out of my hand. So we have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So there may be something here that you're needing to <clears throat> wait. Don't rush into something. Allow nature to unfold. Okay, for Scorpio's person, only time will tell. Really? We got only time will tell. So something here. Someone may have blue eyes. Um, red hair. I don't know. All right, only time will tell, Scorpio. Um, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to unfold. Wow, that was plain. Plain as day for whatever's going on here. So this is going to be from the hidden truth. Keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with you, depending on the connection you have with this person, whether this is someone you already know, someone you're in contact with, no contact with, I don't know. So let's see, the hidden truth between Scorpio and Scorpio's love interest. Let's see what messages we have from here. Okay, we've got, I knew exactly what I was doing. Oh my. There's someone here, I feel you leaving me behind. I want to tell you how I feel. So someone here may want to um, tell somebody how they feel. But they feel like the other person is leaving them behind. Someone here knew exactly what they were doing. I'm not sure what that's pertaining to. Hopefully it comes out in the reading. Someone here does want to, you know, speak speak up and talk to the other person. Or you want to speak to this person. Uh, someone is also saying, uh, we will be together again. So, but I knew exactly what I was doing. All right, so let's see. From the intermediate skies, what messages do we have for Scorpio and their love interest? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. We got, I abandoned people to make myself feel important. Wow, maybe that's what this, I knew exactly what I was doing. That's cold. I'm so sorry. So someone here may have insecurities or they abandon people to make themselves feel important, to make themselves feel wanted. That's fucked up. I have sexual fantasies about you, so I don't know if you have sexual fantasies about this person. This person has sexual fantasies about you. But someone here may have abandonment issues, or someone may like to abandon people in order to make, you know, that runner chaser, in order to get someone to chase after them, to make themselves feel important. Someone is saying, I'm so sorry, but maybe someone knows they have issues. <laughs> okay. All right. And we've got reminiscing. So yeah, someone here is definitely reminiscing. If you were intimate with someone here with this, I have sexual fantasies about you. Someone is definitely reminiscing about this. And you make me want to be a better person on the bottom of the deck. So let's jump into your tarot reading. See what messages we have for Scorpio for the end of May. Keep in mind, energy can be vice versa. So Scorpio, I'll read you on this side, your person on this side. However, the roles can be reversed. Flip it, switch it according to your situation. First card out is going to be for Scorpio's overall energy. Second card will be for your person, or the person on your mind. All right, Scorpio. Be sure to hit that like button if you find that these messages resonate with you or they give you some type of clarity. I appreciate it. If you guys want a personal reading, info is in the description box below. All right, so let's see. Overall energy for Scorpio, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, Scorpio. So uh, you could be focusing on your self-love. Um, you could be starting something new or wanting something new getting into something new. This could also talk about blessings coming in. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep or a deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter in a new home. So some of you guys could be moving. Ace of Cups can also talk about a blessing. Could be receiving a love letter, getting a new home, a new car, some type of blessings may be coming in. 
Um, or this could be just the awakening to your own psychic abilities at this time. Um, so let's see, the person on Scorpio's mind, what is in their overall energy? We got the Four of Cups. So feelings of boredom, discontent, failing to recognize the magical opportunity, missing the point, distractions of daily life. Discontent and boredom, lost in your own world, wake up. So someone here may be looking at other options. The Four of Cups can also talk about a rejection, a missed opportunity. There is an angel here in the background with the cup in their hand, however, and you have this Ace of Cups. So I don't know if you're offering something, offering your cup to someone and they're not accepting it, um, or they're looking at other options, or they're just, you know, busy in their own world. Um with other things going on, this person may be feeling bored and discontent when it comes to their love life, or uh, they're just discontent with what they have or what is being offered to them. And they may be not seeing your cup being handed to them because you have the Ace of Cups and that's no coincidence here. Scorpio, what is in Scorpio's emotions? Sorry, I just got done with the walk, so I'm like trying to still catch my breath. I mean, I caught my breath, but trying to get into that energy. All right, so Scorpio's emotions. Show me Scorpio's person. Thank you. So we've, damn, two fours. So Scorpio, in your emotions, you could be feeling a little bit confused or things could be up in the air. You may be looking at other options. Seven of Cups can also talk about... Um, Okay, so make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options are addictions. So with this being in your emotions. Hold on one second. So with the Seven of Cups, this is, you could be procrastinating, overanalyzing. There could be some self-indulgent type of energy. If not, let it fly. Uh, it's not for everyone. Um... But with the Seven of Cups in your emotions, I don't know, you may be kind of feeling all over the place. You may be feeling a little bit confused. Um, your person and their emotions, they have the Four of Pentacles. Managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give and receive money, time, and or emotions. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black and white and being charitable. So with this Four of Pentacles in their emotions, they may be holding back from you. They may be holding on to your energy. Take it as it resonates. This person... Um, you know, could be feeling like there's a missed opportunity, but they're still holding on to your energy. Or this person could be just in this rejecting type of energy, feeling bored, discontent. Maybe they're trying to balance out their money, their resources, or they're being kind of greedy, stingy with how they give and receive their time, energy, and emotions. This could be having you feeling confused, not knowing like, okay, you may be trying to offer your cup to somebody and they're not really accepting of it. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um... Why is this person holding back from me? Why don't they want this? I got all this love for this person. Why don't they want this? Why are they um, being greedy? Why are they being stingy? Why are they holding back from me, but also maybe not letting you go or something to that nature? Okay, so show me Scorpio's next move, please. What is Scorpio's next move? What is Scorpio's person or the person on Scorpio's mind? What is their next move, please? Person on Scorpio's mind, what is their next move? Yeah, so, all right, let me get Scorpio's person's next move, and then we'll talk about it. So Pisces energy is showing up strong, Pisces Cancer. So we have the moon as your next move, uh, Scorpio. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears, revelations that will make everything clear. So with the moon here, you may be feeling like something here is hidden. You may be trying to use your intuition. You may be keeping your emotions to yourself. Um... Again, this could talk about feelings of confusion or illusion. With this weight card, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Um, I do see that you are trying to, this is your next move. So I do see that you're trying to use your intuition. Okay, you may be having dreams about this person or very vivid dreams at this time. Um, there's a need to let go. Um, let go of your fears. Soon everything will become clear. Whatever was hidden will come to the light. Okay. With the moon card and for your person we have the dreamer pisces energy a new start trust yourself push your fears aside take that leap of faith again there's an angel in the background guiding somebody to go through this door to have some type of a fresh start new beginning or maybe your person's 
next move is they are starting something new or they're coming towards you wanting to start something new. Um, but maybe this person is just um, holding back their emotions or there's a sense of like boredom or discontent. And this may be something somebody who's also trying to work on their finances or be careful with how they spend, give and receive their time energy. It's like somebody who's trying to balance something out maybe within their finances. And it could be why this person is rejecting or, you know, just kind of missing out on an opportunity or not putting in the effort because, but with their next move, this dreamer card, this person may be starting something new um, or trying to push their fears aside in order to take this leap of faith. Okay, so Scorpio, what is Scorpio's intentions here, please? Wow, the Eight of Cups. I don't know about this Three of Pentacles. So you may be deciding to walk away from a situation or you just may be walking away from a situation emotionally. You have the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups. There's a whole lot of emotions on your side, Scorpio. You have the Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Moon, and the Eight of Cups. That's like confusion, but it's also a very emotional type of energy. The need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes and a change in priorities and leaving home. Um, so I don't know if you're wanting to work on this, but you may be walking away from it emotionally, okay? Or this is what your intentions are. It's like you maybe want, again, you may be intending to work on something. You may be focusing on your work, your skill, your trades, whatever it is that you put in work or that you're skilled at. You may be working on those things and walking away from the situation emotionally, or that's what you're intending to do is disconnect. Um, okay, so show me uh, Scorpio's person. The Six of Wands, so victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarships. So again, your person, whoever this is on your mind, your person may be starting something. They could be doing, you know, something that's bringing in a lot of public recognition or success, or they're starting something new that they're feeling victorious about that's making them feel successful, or this is their intentions. It's like, I want to be someone who's successful. I want to be recognized. I want to be in the public eye. I want, I'm working on getting some type of a promotion, award, or scholarship. I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to move up in my career, whatever it is that I do. Someone here, their intentions is they want that recognition. They want that success. They want, you know, to be noticed, to be recognized. So this person may be in the process of starting something new or trying to push their fears aside in order to take some type of a leap of faith here. And they could be just holding back, not really interested in love or four of cups, you know. Show me the outcome here for Scorpio. What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome for Scorpio? The Page of Swords. So there could be some spying, some watching. Okay. Um, the Page of Swords in this deck is logical, uh, perceptive, insightful, blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights and information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents carefully. There could also be some communication coming in. Could be from an air sign or maybe someone who's younger. Aquarius, Super Gemini. Um, wow. Ten of Cups. The Two of Cups. It came out sideways pretty much in the reverse. But um, the outcome... Ace of Swords and the Lovers. The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. My goodness. Okay. Um, two of Cups in the reverse. All right, so let me just read the obvious. Um, yeah, there could be some spying maybe on a family dynamic, Ten of Cups, a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising your children wisely and successfully in people that you can trust. Or there is just a marriage here. Someone may be trying to get more information on a family or marriage or home. 
or someone could be receiving some information about a child. It could be harsh. It could be blunt. Two of Cups in the reverse, though, talks about, like, I don't know, a soulmate connection where there's disharmony, disunion within a partnership, or there could be an end to a relationship. The Ace of Swords could talk about some type of truth, and the Lover's card could talk about some type of choice in love. So I don't know if there's some type of truth being spoken here or a conversation being had, brilliant insights and in brilliant ideas that may need refinement, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out, communicate clearly and concisely, and remain objective. With the lovers here in this deck, it talks about embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, and recovery from an illness. The lovers card also symbolizes choices. So I don't know if there's a family dynamic and there's a relationship here. There could be information about a child or family or marriage. Definitely could be some type of a marriage here or someone's headed towards their ten of pentacles or something. I don't know. This is wild. I mean, with the Two of Cups in the river. Uh, we will be together again. I knew exactly what I was doing. So is someone here married or someone like Scorpio? So I don't know if you started something new with somebody, Ace of Cups. You may have had options or you do have options, but you're wanting, maybe you're looking over your options and it's like, ultimately, um, maybe you love yourself so much. I don't know. I have been in people, you know, with this moon that can talk about confusion, illusion. Um, and the seven of cups can also talk about like confusion, surrounding other options, illusions, smoke and mirrors you know not not knowing which option to take trying to use your intuition but ultimately eight of cups it's like your intentions is to walk away so i don't know if you're like evaluating your options maybe this person's feeling rejected by you and they're deciding to hold back from you and start something new where they feel brings them success because there is a relationship or something here that's over there is you know, happiness or a family dynamic. There's truth about some type of choices. There could be someone here who's spying or watching, reminiscing, you know, watching in admiration or something to that nature. With this, I abandoned people to make myself feel important and I knew exactly what I was doing. I hope this isn't the Scorpio that's doing this, but I'm not gonna, you know. Uh, yeah, show me the Page of Swords, please. Why is the Page of Swords here in the outcome for Scorpio? You know, this could go both ways, so I'm not here to judge. You know, like Scorpio, maybe you're the one that's feeling confused because you started something new with this person and then they rejected you and decided to hold back and go towards something new. You know, maybe this person just wanted your attention, six of wands, like that was their intentions, just to get a little bit of attention from you. And you thought that this was a new beginning in love, and now you're sitting here confused, trying to use your intuition, but your intentions is to walk away from this because you're not getting what you want from it. So this could go a couple different ways. Queen of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be spying or watching, or someone else could be. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be watching, looking into a situation. Oh my. Aquarius energy is strong here. Someone's like... Waiting on some type of wish fulfillment, uh, waiting on some type of commitment or stability, um, but also watching. Again, wait, Scorpio, allow the situation to full, unfold naturally, and then your person got only time will tell. So if you're waiting on some type of wish fulfillment or some type of commitment, only time will tell here. Ooh. Okay, so show me the Ten of Cups. The moon, again, so it's like there's some type of an illusion, confusion surrounding a family dynamic, <sighs> commitment, uh, loyalty. Someone may fear some type of happiness or happily ever after. Again, so maybe somebody, that's why the two of cups is here. If the moon, ten of cups, it's like someone may fear this happily ever after the ten of cups okay so they may just decide to end a relationship abandon people to make themselves feel important or you do this because you 
Do you do this, Scorpio? Okay. Anyways, you know, I don't know. Show me the two of cups in the reverse, the high priestess. So Pisces energy, you got double Pisces here. You have the moon and the dreamer card and the moon and the high priestess. You could be dealing with another Pisces or dealing with the Pisces. You got Gemini here as well, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a lot of intuition here. Someone here is highly intuitive. Someone's secretly ending a relationship. Someone um, is ending a relationship because someone has secrets. I don't necessarily see infidelity necessarily, but um, okay, give me one more on this Two of Cups, please, in the reverse. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone could be walking away from a Pisces, deciding to end a relationship with a Pisces. Maybe a Pisces is walking away or a high priestess or someone's using their intuition and walking away. It looks like it's you, Scorpio. You could be this very intuitive high priestess energy here and you're using your intuition to walk away from a situation or you're secretly abandoning a situation, ending a soulmate connection. Show me the Ace of Swords, please. The Eight of Pentacles. So... You may have some type of a new work opportunity here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Or you may be working on something, working on some type of new endeavor, new idea. Or you're working on putting some type of a new plan together, new idea. Show me the lovers. Ah. Three of Swords. So there is a third party. Three of Swords. The lovers. Yeah, this is... There is some type of heartbreak surrounding a choice. Surrounding love. Lovers. Yeah, or there's a breakup to a soulmate connection. Three of Swords can be a breakup as well. The seven of wands in the reverse. So someone here is not wanting to fight for a situation. Someone here may be feeling vulnerable or feeling <sighs> someone is not protected against some type of heartbreak or someone here is like feeling heartbroken, feeling defenseless. Why? Why? The King of Pentacles. So is someone here in a commitment or a marriage or a higher level of commitment? You have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles out here. The Ten of Cups. There could be something hidden surrounding a marriage or a family. Someone may be trying to get more information. Someone could be walking away, ending a soulmate connection because there's some type of secrets here. What's this opportunity about or this message, this work message, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag? And the star, someone's taking action towards their wish fulfillment. Seven of Swords and Nine of Swords. But someone's in their head about something that was done that was shady. Or someone was sneaking to do something. And someone's worried about this, stressed out about this. Possible new opportunity or this financial opportunity. Or about this new job or, or this home. Someone's like trying to sneak off and do something. If you guys want a personal reading, information's in the description box below. Someone here feels like defenseless though. Or someone feels vulnerable. Someone's in a commitment. 
But there's like a third party energy here. Someone may be ending something with the third party. Could be a secret person, a mistress. I don't know who did what, and I'm not going to figure it out, but let's just see. Three cards. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they may feel rejected by you. You may feel rejected by them, but I do see that something new was started and then like walked away from, or there was other options here. And there, there is definitely like some type of a new start, but there's also like someone that knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, passion and clock. Uh, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal and progress. And we have that up here. Wait, only time will tell. So, okay. Three cards, please. There is some strategy, sneaky behavior going on in this situation. That's for sure. Um, two more, please. We have love, uncondi unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and traction. So that could be you, the self-love, unconditional love, or someone has a lot of love for you, or you have a lot of love for someone. Coffee cup, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So again, there may be some type of a conversation. Maybe you're having this conversation with someone that you work with or a friend at work, because this could be a friend, this could be at work. Ace of Swords can be an, a conversation. We have the Dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to the light, adapt, change, and heal. And then the cons Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So someone here may be, um, again, we did have reminiscing out here, so someone could definitely be reminiscing about something. Um... Someone may be wanting to apologize as well. This could be a, an apology. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped give you clarity, let me know. Smash that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.